In this exponents problem, the key is to, without using a calculator, is to rewrite the base as the lowest possible base. So we have 2 to the 2x minus 5 is equals to 1 over this thing, but the 8 is going to be rewritten as the lowest base. So 2 to the 3 happens to be 8. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, all to the 4 minus x. So the key is you have these brackets here, and we're, we're going to multiply these because exponent, bracket, exponent, we're going to multiply, not add, but multiply. So what we get is 2 to the 2x minus 5 is equals to 1 over 2 to the 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times negative x is negative 3x. And Recall that when you have 1 over some power, you can actually get, uh, flip it, find the reciprocal, as long as you stick a negative sign. So 2 to the 2x minus 5 is equals to 2 to the negative 12 minus 3x. So I'm just copying this down here, but sticking a negative sign there. And it's very important that you have these brackets, otherwise it'll be wrong. So what I have here is the same base and different exponents. These exponents must be the same. So we have 2x minus 5 is equals to negative 12 minus 3x. So the key rule here is that when you have some base to some exponent and then you have is equal to some other base to some different exponent. This implies that x equals y. That's how we got this line over here. Same base, different exponents, we can equate them. So let's finish this off using basic algebra. We have 2x minus 5 is equal to, I'm just distributing this negative 1, negative 12 plus 3x. And we're just going to move this 2x over, we have 3x minus 2x is x is equals to 7. Negative 5 plus 12 is 7. So the final answer is x equals 7. So again, for these questions, when you, as soon as you see this, you know it's going to be an exponent's question. So always try to rewrite the base as the lowest possible base, such that we have two equal bases, and it'll be very easy to solve for x. As long as you're very careful, the idea of 1 over something, you can flip it and change the sign, but don't forget those brackets and please be very careful when, uh, uh, when you're using exponent laws. It's very easy to confuse uh, multiplying with addition in terms of the exponent laws. Super job.